is my favorite. I am, I would say, okay, my name is Shimshi, first of all. Hi, everyone. I am a mentor at SOF, and I'm really, really, really excited to get to know everybody here. And I think the food that embodies me is instant ramen because <laughs> it's, um, it's always there, you know, when my groceries are out, that's the last thing that, that's left there. And it, it all, it's always, always like right by me. And that's what I am like for like friends and people in my life that even if everybody leaves you, I'll always be there. So that's the food that embodies me. Nice. Beautiful. And who do you want to pass it to, Shamshir? And also please tell us which country um, are you from and where are you right now? So just a little bit of location, I think, as well for everyone here. <laughs> yeah. so I am from India, but right now I'm located in Toronto. So I will be in this time zone. <laughs> okay, I would like to pass it to, let's see, Ibukun, would you like to go next? Hi, I'm Ibukun. Um, the food that sort of represents me most is probably eggs, because they're quite adaptable, I think. And I think I'm quite adaptable as well. Um, I'm originally from Nigeria, but I've been living in England for quite a long time now. So yeah, um, I'll pass it to Yashika. Hi, I'm Yashika and the food that represents me would be eggplant because uh, uh, because you can do like you can have a lot of things with them like you can craft them in a beautiful way and you can also have them simply so they're very unique in that sense they adapt all situations great pass to somebody yashika I'll pass it to Arham. Cool. Yeah, I'm Arham Mansali. Uh, the food that describes me, I think it's um, I'm not sure. We can come back to you. It's okay. Yeah. I will pass it to Jia. Gi, if you're speaking, you're on mute. Oh, good. Mama, am I audible? You're good, yeah. Uh, the food that would represent me would be uh, Maggie noodles. Uh, means I like it very much, and means it's easily accessible. And <laughs> you know my hatred of Maggie. Any oh, age, yeah. I mean any age group can have it and savor its flavor, and we can like <laughs> it's an Indian thing. Everyone's like Maggie, and it's accessible, and we can work with it creatively. We can have it simple. Nice. Means it can transform itself according to everything. According to everything, cool. Context-wise, Maggie is a bit like ramen, but with Indian spices. <laughs> um, who else would like to? Who would like to go next? Hallie has arrived. Uh, Gia passed to somebody. I'm gonna pass to Brando. I'm just gonna throw. Um, you end it <laughs> again. We'd love to see you guys. Like, don't be shy. Um, love to see you as well. So, Brando, tell us the food that embodies you. Can you hear me though? Yeah, you're good. Okay, I'll be hard candy because I can't break. And you know, <laughs> I don't know. First food I thought, you know, it's not really food, but it's still food. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but hard candies do break. But <laughs> we'll see what happens in a hundred days. No, no, like you know those hard bars. Like you used to get a, like the vending, not the vending machine, but like the, the yeah, the, the jawbreakers. Yeah, yeah, those ones, those ones, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who breaks those? I could never eat those. <laughs> Takes a lot oh. of time. <laughs> yes. 
All right, Brando, who are you passing it to? Uh, is DK here? I don't know. Devante, let's, will you message him, Brando, and get him to come? I, yeah, he, he said he was going to join. So. Okay. Well, All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pass to um, King. Um, this is a weird question to ask what kind of food you'd be, but if I had to choose, um, I'd probably be licorice because you either really, really like me or you really, really hate me for some reason. It's, it's, it's either or. Yeah. So yeah. I guess that I'm licorice, even though I don't like licorice. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So this is George. Sorry, George. Cool. Great. Um, George, who are you passing it to? Uh, blessed Funko. Hi, if I was a uh, food, I'd probably be cheese because it can be put on anything and it like comes out really well. Right. Yeah, amazing. Who are you passing it to, Blessed? Uh, Amelia. Um, probably like a fig because like uh don't look that different to everyone else on the outside but like if you can get me to open up then there's more to see on the inside you're the first fig we've had in school of future very happy to have you here great amelia who are you passing to um Jaden. great Okay, um, if I was a food, I think I'd be a pizza. <laughs> Not only because I like pizza, but like, because it's like the dough is the same, but like the toppings can change. And I think I, I change a lot. So okay. yeah, a pizza. And I'm from South Africa, but, and right now I'm in, where am I? I'm in a place. I can't remember the name. <laughs> yeah, and I'm passing it to... Wait, did Amita say yet? Mm -mm. Um, no, I haven't. So um, this is kind of a weird analogy because I don't like this food, but I would say I'm like an onion because there are like many different layers to it. And I feel like there are like many different aspects to my personality. So that's kind of what I would say. Awesome. Excited to peel the onion. <laughs> cool. Um, and did Brando go? I'm not sure. Amita, tell us where you're from and then you will pass to Brando. Oh, um, I'm from Toronto, Canada. Same. <laughs> Brando's gone, but let's pass to um, somebody else. You can choose. Um, maybe James. say that I would probably like an egg because I feel like if you can get through the shell out on the outside you can get to know me a lot better um on the inside Good. that explains it yeah two eggs with different reasons for being eggs cool all right James who are you passing to um there's Esther gone yet no, um, hi, my name is Esther. I'm from, I'm originally from Nigeria, but I'm located in the U.S. right now. If I were a food, I think I would be soul food because like there's a lot of, there's many like different kinds of people like me and I'm, I think I'm a very likable person. Um, I'm going to pass it to Shai Ying Sun. Hi, um, I'm in the, um, I, I live in England. Um, those foods probably be like milk, like um, you can like eat it with a lot of things, like have it with tea, have it with coffee, um, have, have it with like cereal, and um, it's kind of just like um, something nice to have on top of like, um, like yeah. I don't know. I was drinking tea earlier. <laughs> The easiest protein to take down. Cool, Shaying. Where are you gonna pass to? Yeah. Um. Um. Has Vignette gone yet? No. 
Ja, passt auch. Hi, I'm Vanette. I'm from South Africa and I'd say I'm a potato, go with a lot of things. I fit in quite easily in different environments. And I'm not sure who's gone yet, but we will help you with first. First to I'm sorry if I'm gonna pronounce this wrong. Gia. Gia did go. Yeah. We can go with, um, I think Yage hasn't gone, and then we also have, uh, so just uh, so that everyone knows, Yage, Devonte, and I think one more person hasn't gone, I'm not Ar sure. Arham and ha uh, Halle haven't gone either. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay, so let's pass it to Yage for now. Yage, can you hear us? Yes. Okay, beautiful, tell us. Um. I'm still thinking on it. Not yeah. sure of any. Okay, cool. Uh, what about Arham? Do you feel ready to share now? Yeah, okay. So I'm Arham Hansali. I'm from India. And if I was a food, I would be a Subway sandwich because it's uh, easily accessible not only in India, but I think all over the world. And I think uh, everyone likes Subway. Enough, and I think everyone likes should like me also that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will pass on to Aryan. Thanks, Ar Aryan. Good job. Hey, so, what is international Aryan. comfort food? Hmm. Yeah, I'm Aryan. I'm from India. If I would be a food, I would be a popcorn. Uh, it's easy to make uh, and uh, it, it is available in many flavors also. <laughs> mm. I like popcorn a lot and we have never had uh, anyone who said popcorn. Right. So that's awesome. Um, I will go ahead and pick my food item. So I think um, the food, I like I'm changing mine after a while, you guys. Mm. So the one that I like the most and the one that I think represents me, at least in my current board is, is coffee. Um, and that is dark coffee, if I'm being specific, because like, I think it's a bit like, you know, once you once you love it, you really love it, right? It's like very hard to get rid of your love for coffee. However, if you don't give it enough of a chance, you do not like it and like you live your life well, missing out on coffee. So I think that's a little bit like knowing me. Um, and I am right now in India um, and I will pass it to, so we have had... Haley? Yeah, Kels. Hallie or Haley? I'm sorry. Or um, Hal? Would you like to go? Hi, uh, it's Hallie. Like uh, I don't know if you guys know Halle Berry. That's what most people yeah. go by. But um, I'm from Canada, and if I were a food, I'd probably be hot sauce because on my own I'm a bit much. But if you add me in, I give you that little kick that you need. Oh my God, I love that. That's an amazing description. Um, Kels, let's come to you and then let's end with Devonte. Okay, I have never been this either. I think I'm an artichoke girl is like what I've been known as in my family. Aditi doesn't even know this either because I couldn't find artichokes when I was in India. Um, but I guess I don't, my personality is like, maybe I am difficult. Like you have to pick out what, it's literally so laborious to like, like scrape your teeth and get like the smallest bite. Um, and I'm sorry that that is maybe the way I am. <laughs> um, maybe I'm just difficult to my own self, but I think it's super worth it each bite. And I really like the process. I enjoy like, if I'm going to eat, I want to like, do a little bit of labor with it. <laughs> Did Karen go? I'm so sorry. Great, Karen, we'd like to hear from you. Um, I'm Karen from Kenya. And if I were to be a food, I'll um, most probably a crab. Because I really don't know the reason why. That's great. 
right though another food that's like a labor but worth it <laughs> when you get inside cool great and devonte yeah devonte um i don't know all your guys answers was very unique so i'm gonna make mine unique too still if i was a food i'd be a cucumber because kind of just fits my description <laughs> okay tell us why because <laughs> i'm lanky oh <laughs> <laughs> That's like the most physical uh, description we have had, but that's awesome. I love cucumbers, actually. Oh my god, what an underrated food item in the world! Yeah, they're actually good. You know, they give you a lot of a lot of nutrients and and water. Yeah. Yeah. Two and one. Awesome. If anyone hasn't gone yet, please raise your hand virtually, physically, or via chat. Any option is available. Virtually is good too. Cool. Yes, awesome. Okay, great. Thank you so much, everyone, for sharing a little bit of where you're coming from and the food item that you are. The reason we do things a little bit in a unique way, and you'll realize this throughout your 100-day experience with the Academy, is that we don't just want you to know each other at surface level, right? Like, we don't just want you to know Ojia's from India, Vinit's from South Africa, George is from US, like those are just labels, right? At the end of the day, um, we want you to get to know each other in a much more meaningful sense and get to know each other from the space of personality and passion. Um, those are things that we care about the most. So um, that's the reason for this activity's existence and the way that it goes. Um, and it's just an absolute pleasure uh, from our end to welcome each and every one of you to Entrepreneurs Academy. Um, we expect all of our students to just you know, be themselves and really enjoy the process. Be communicative with us. Um, tell us like what's working, what's not working. Um, try as hard as possible to you know uh, do the work that's put in front of you, but also just really enjoy the process. Um, the the program is designed to work for you, so we do a lot of stuff that makes it easier for you. Um, however, like we also love feedback and like. Anytime you are running into issues, just feel free to communicate that with us because it's easy to manage and it's like always doable. And some student has probably already experienced some version of that issue at some point. Um, the second thing I wanted to highlight is that while you are in this diverse community, be respectful of viewpoints and be respectful of the fact that there is, you know, that like the, one of the core reasons you're here is to learn from different perspectives. And when people say that, it always sounds cool, but what they don't realize maybe is that differing perspectives are also a lot of disagreements and that stuff can be hard, right? Um, so understand that you're getting, like you're sinking into a lot of that um, culture shock and like so many different things that come up. Um, but it's, that's also the most wonderful part of School of Future. And the effect of that is also that uh, you have a much bigger community that's surrounding you and championing you and supporting you, which is outside of uh, your cohort, right? All the other groups of students that we are uh, training and working with, they are, they are going to be your biggest champions. They're going to be some of your first customers. They're going to be some of your first reviewers, uh, do a lot of things. And um, so, yeah, like enjoy the community element a lot. And now coming to the second element, which is really about just the project that you will be building with us, right? Um, and we get asked this question a lot, right? Like, why should kids be entrepreneurs? Um, and I think, honestly, I don't think I would ever say that every kid in the world needs to be an entrepreneur. However, um, and I can debate this for hours probably now at this point, every person in the world needs to be entrepreneurial. Uh, based on the way that the world has moved. So that's what you're here to learn. Not necessarily that, you know, you're like, we will try our best. And if that's your goal to build a million dollar business or a billion dollar business, we are right behind you. However, we're going to focus hardcore on your ability to think like an entrepreneur, your personality as an individual, the emotions, like whatever's going on with you as a person, your goals, both personal and professional are what's important to us. Um, but more than anything else, these 100 days are just like a space for you to explore, learn new things, to be able to get to make some new friends um, and to build something that literally did not exist before you thought of it and you put it into existence. You dream that thing into existence and that's what you will uh, graduate with. 
and that's the power of like creating something from scratch that's your very own baby so you'll each experience this crazy uh, whirlwind uh, journey and uh, all the very very best from the team and with that like let's get started with some more activities and getting to uh, know each other and shamshir will be leading that i will not steal it this time shamshir <laughs> okay awesome okay so we have another really fun activity and for this one you have to pull your phone out so open whatsapp wherever you want on your laptop just go on to the cohort group and i'm going to give you some prompts okay and you have a limited amount of time to write on the group to answer that prompt so i'm going to have a timer here and i'm going to give everybody the first prompt now please open your whatsapp chat and be ready to answer okay so the first thing is in 15 seconds share the emoji you use the most frequently you have 15 seconds there so fast dang <laughs> James I saw that was your Instagram pic cuz the United States flag and <laughs> I was curious Love that rocket ship uh, sorry love that uh, Shamshir yours was poop Okay let's go Shamshir next one Okay 15 seconds are actually over next one 15 seconds again share the emoji that most adequately represents you I'm going to cheat and share a gif. <laughs> I've never seen that behavior. <laughs> We're almost out of time. 5 4 3 2 1. Okay, next one. 30 seconds. take a pen and a paper around you and draw the emoji that represents you that you just entered into the chat and share a picture of it once you're done in the group take a picture and share it or you can do that what brando is doing <laughs> I luckily had a black pen around me. Can you imagine my joy? Oh my God, Shane, that's that's almost too accurate. Why you drew that so well too? <laughs> okay, we're almost out of time. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, next one. We already did the next one. Never mind. <laughs> In forty-five seconds, write about something that you want to be good at.
we we we're out of time again let's go to the next one okay 20 seconds tell us what's your guilty pleasure something you know is a waste of time but you can't help it what in the world is among us i'm i'm up on it <laughs> kids have told me oh oh god thanks for leaving me out of the loop who said this first let me ask how second first <laughs> oh yeah sorry netflix <laughs> oh okay netflix netflix <laughs> can someone tell me what? okay i will get to this after the game yeah. okay next one we're starting the timer again so tell us about the last time you lied to your parents about something small and you have 45 seconds I've done this and yeah <laughs> I'm 22 or am I <laughs> or 7 or 17 or 27 yeah I yeah okay we're almost out of time again this one ran out super fast 5 4 3 2 1 you have 45 seconds what's something about you that others might not realize at first glance can you repeat the question what's something about you that others might not realize the first time that they see you I'm super creative. Devant, I bet you're a good speaker. Nice. I love hiking. Ah. Occasionally smart. <laughs> oh, okay. We're uh, we're out of time again. Oh, this is going so fast. Okay. Uh, one minute. Draw yourself as a cartoon using shapes on the paper piece of paper you just had do it again like the emoji or like ourselves just yourself just the way you look so the, just the idea is that um it's the most amount of time you're getting in this activity to draw a cartoon version of yourself and yeah i think we can do 10 more seconds we have 10 more seconds yes but that's, that's the amount of time we have left <laughs> okay 5 4 3 2 1 now post this picture on the group chat You have 15 seconds to do that. This is bad. Okay. Great. 15 seconds are over. Okay, this is the last one. So you have 1 minute. and tell us why you want to become an entrepreneur or you can also tell us what you're excited about in the next 100 days whichever one you want to say so you have 1 minute um 
Some of these drawings are great. <laughs> Okay, we have 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're done. Thank you so much, everyone. That was a great round. Cool. I'm just, I'm just gonna read the stuff. <laughs> Yeah, you guys can spend all your time that you want reading, rereading. It's fun to get to know each other in like a quick version like that. Now we're going to get to know each other in more of like um, conversation, intimate way. We're going to put you in small, small, small breakout rooms. And um, the prompts, the very first thing you're going to do is... Sorry. Um, the first question I like to ask is what's the favorite object in your room? Like something that's important to you that you can pick up real quickly and just show to everybody else that like, it just, it's valuable to you. It maybe it's like a, something goofy as well, but something in your room around you um, that you can like sh show off and show to everybody and tell us why. All right, we'll put you in the breakout rooms. All right, bye. Hey. Hey. Are some of the rooms taking a little bit more time? Maybe. Yeah, they have. Legacies are complicated to describe. <laughs> it can take a yeah. while. Great. I'm excited to see these legacies happen. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Thank you so much, everyone, for telling us a little bit more about your lives and telling your peers a little bit more about your lives. Um, so we are now going to reveal to you the groups that uh, you will be in for the 100 Days of the Academy. Basically, the idea is that um, while, you know, this will be a very tight-knit cohort, you will get to know people outside of your group as well. We like to keep the working teams even smaller. And the idea of these teams or the groups that are there is really just that um, it's, it's a space of motivation and encouragement. And every Saturday when we do the contest, um, when we host our contest, you'll be participating often as a team. A lot of times it will be as an individual or in partners, but... Um, this will be kind of like your home base within School of Future. And uh, Kels, should we reveal that first or should we do the activity and then do? Let's do the activity and then we'll reveal the big reveal of who your 100 day teammates are. Beautiful. So one of the elements that, um, you know, I, I realized when whenever I would work outside of India specifically, but even just like in regular workspace, people have very different personalities, right? They're very different styles, they're very different needs. And because you don't express them, because you don't talk about them, it just, there's a learning curve with each person, right? And uh, a friend of mine, close friend of mine, who's also a facilitator and has worked with me for a while, we kind of came up with this idea, like how could we make that process of getting to know someone over like three months 
faster right like what could we do that would like snap through all that and and still get you some obviously not all of that closeness but get you to understand some of those quirks some of the like you know whatever the things that come up so that's what this activity is it's called culture cafe and the whole idea is that you get to know a little bit more about the person in front of you um and it's the reason we call it culture cafe is just because a cafe kind of honest chill conversation um and the idea of understanding who each of us is so the way that we will do participate in this activity is that i need you to take out your pen and paper and just create um four boxes like divide up your paper any way you want into four different boxes and we'll take about 5 minutes with this activity there'll be i'll give you a prompt and you'll have a minute to take care of that particular prompt in the first box give me a thumbs up actually once you have the four boxes and your paper ready okay you begins good to go kelsey oh beautiful notebook kels bless is ready to go shane's too okay awesome so is devonte nice nice al yashika king as well got you king awesome great beautiful so now in the first box what i would like you to think about is when you're working with a team or when you're working within a group what do you think is your strength what are you really 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 good at right and remember like at so we do not dim our light we do not try to be like all like coy and stuff like just be you right like so please tell us like what do you think is the strongest thing that you bring to a group when you work in a team or any kind of uh, group sport a good way to think about it is like in team sports any team activity so that's the first box your strength box i'll just give you a sense of time we have 1 minute for each of these and i'll give you a little bit more for this thirty more seconds Okay, that's three, two, one. Pens down. Okay, the next thing. Oops. Yeah, the next one that we're going to do is do the box next to it. Now, what I would like you to think about is when you're working in teams or in any kind of group, what do you think is your typical like weakness? Uh, typically, the thing that you don't, you struggle with. You you know find this hard. Um, just to give people an example, uh, for me that would be I I really. struggle sometimes with patients um and if if i have explained something like th three times the fourth time is not a pleasant <laughs> so yeah i would be probably like uh, that Sorry, can I just ask who said they lied about playing poker? <laughs> Do. <laughs> Do you play Amelia? Is that why? Oh. Yeah, of course. Oh my god, we should have a poker subgroup. We always consider we should have like subgroups in Sof of just like areas of interest. Um they have been logistically hard, but maybe you guys are like a turning point. and that's time uh the next one that we're going to do is basically called needs and the idea 
So what I want you to do is think about what are your needs when you work with a team? What are the things that you really feel should be there? For me, it's the, I would almost say over communication is my top priority. I like to be very clear with what we are doing. So I think that would come under there. So what are your needs when you work with a team? And the time starts now. Did you say what's our needs in a group? Yes, yes. With like from the group almost I want it. Like finding myself writing like the things that Aditi and Shamshir like do because I just like like the stuff and I'm like, yes, this is what I need. Ooh, and that is time. And with that, we're coming to my personal favorite fourth box, right? Now this box is called pet peeves. Um, these are the things that people do in a group that annoy the living hell out of you and makes you like, these are not like big things, right? These, these are small, small things. Like for example, someone talks over you in a meeting. You don't like that maybe. So what are your pet peeves or things that irritate you when you work in a group. And these are things that other people are doing, not you. <laughs> And there are 20 seconds left. Um, Since pet peeves were smelly people. I was like, that's a question. Um, what are your pet peeves or things that irritate you when you work in a group? No, no, no. I, I want to ask, when is this cohort finished? Oh, <laughs> good question. I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm just wondering. Yeah, yeah, they want it. Um, the group, uh, like, so it's basically 100 days. So it's probably going to be around uh, 10th of February. I mean, this, I mean, this Zoom call. The Zoom call finishes oh. in another few minutes. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, five, maximum 10. Yeah. Oh, sorry. No, it will, um, it's going to go for another 20 minutes plus. Um, right, Kels? We have the time to, yeah. yeah you're going to have groups. So we'll have another, like, yeah, 30 minutes. Cool. Um, Kels, if you can prepare to share your screen and stuff, and I will conclude the activity. Awesome. Yes. Thank you so much, everyone, for uh, doing that. So what we will be doing now is now that you have your list of, um, you know, the four boxes, the strengths, the weaknesses, the needs, and the pet peeves, what I would like you to do is go into your team with the, your group of Culture Cafe and just share these one by one. So start with doing a round of strengths, talk about everyone's uh, strengths, then talk about everyone's weakness and so on. The whole idea is that um, this is a fast forward way to understand a little bit about the team dynamics and start to see what strengths each of you have and how can they balance the weaknesses um, that other students uh, in the peer group that you're working with will have. Um, also to understand like the pet peeves one, don't sell that short, like trust me, it's a very big thing. Just know the top two things that irritate the other person and don't do those and you'll be golden. Um, needs as well, like just understanding, like what are the, and, and also accumulating those to create a picture of like as a group, maybe this group is like not as extrovert as like typical groups or whatever. Like just have that kind of uh, honest conversation. The space is all yours. The floor is yours as a group to just discuss and understand if Kelsey, Shamshir, RK or me are in any of the rooms, we are basically there, there just to be silent and observe. Um, we mainly want to like give you guys the space to get to know each other a little bit. 
Uh, so with that, we will um, create the breakout rooms in these uh, group formats and send you to them in just a couple of minutes. Um, how much time do we want to give Kelsey? Just 10 minutes? Uh, on? Yeah, yeah, 10 or less, I would say. So take a look at the names in your group right now. And definitely, I, I, I know this is like less important, but I, I do find it like you're kind of, you're gonna have the competitions every week with these teammates. So really just note, there's a ton of feedback in this entire experience. So just note somebody's small need, somebody's, you know, the thing that gets them, the thing that they, um, just to, to care about them later in the process. And the, the last thing I wanted to say is maybe if you have time, you can come up with a team name. You're gonna have like, you're gonna be represented and being, being called your team name throughout the hundred days. So if you want to like, something comes to mind, you can definitely uh, do that. We will give you some time for it later as well. But yeah. just if you do have time left over, do decide on a group name. Mm. <laughs> Thanks, Devante. That's a nice compliment. We also wish schools were a bit more like this. Uh, Zane is not here. Arham. Okay, sorry. Last room is being I formed. Know one thing that I've fallen behind on is I have to give feed. So we did this really amazing session with uh, students on email writing and just how do you approach someone random, right? That you're really interested to know, like get knowledge from, like how do you approach someone like that? And uh, it was just really, really fun to kind of just see the emails that young the students have written. And that's what I have to review after this call, which I'm kind of excited about. Okay, rooms are opening. Get in there. Welcome back, everyone. Hey. King, I love your hat. This is so cool. <laughs> I like your glasses. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thanks. Actually, like everyone has really good style here, I have to say. Because, like that scarf is kicking ass. Oh my god. It's really, really cool. And I love like whatever Jaylene's wearing is like awesome. <laughs> okay, sorry, this is off topic. Let's go. So we're going to close the session in about in about five minutes and everything. Um, we'll put you into group chats with these guys. So your team contest test first one will be um, in a week. Uh, we'll give a little bit more instructions. Shamshu, can you share your screen really quick? Yeah, sure. Yeah, so a lot of you have seen this before. What I'm going to say now is Yeah, like you, you know how the cycle of how the learning kind of takes place a bit. Um, you, you're going to start with emotional intelligence and be prepared to open up and write a lot about yourself, say a lot about yourself in your groups um, and your mentor calls as well. You'll find like it's super important. It bleeds into every area of your life. Uh, so that's the beginning phase. In the beginning phase, you also decide on that problem you're going to solve. And also don't, don't, don't enter saying, oh, I know what I'm going to solve right now. Let yourself explore every little thing about your day and your life and the conversations you have with all the kids here. Let that be like be open and you'll make the right choice that way. Um, design thinking, as you know, is when you actually build. The number one thing in this entire community, this entire experience, you can never do enough of this, is giving each other feedback and testing out your idea, talking to people and just really listening. You will have so many opportunities 
we take you through every step of this and you'll function as a group. Like the 20 of you that are here will do every little thing together, every, not together, but at the same pace. So you'll be like, oh, cool, nice. George and Armita, we're both doing like the same thing at the same time. You can always check in on somebody else and be like, how's that project going? We love that behavior. One of our favorite students, Sangu, is like the most social kid. I'm like, how do you even know all these other kids from different cohorts? But like we, if there's anybody that you are intrigued with that you see on our website, ask us. Will can like set you up with a call with anybody. We want that kind of behavior from you. And you're all like phenomenal. So like you will learn a lot from each other. Um, so give feedback, get involved in each other's projects, be each other's customers when it comes time for that. Um, as you know, financial literacy is the final big skill. And that's when your business is solid, your idea is sorted, you can start to put it into the marketplace, create different um, like commercials and things like that and position yourself. As I said, we have a group that's graduating in about three weeks. So you can kind of see what they're up to and get involved in their work and be their customer, give them feedback. And this is all accessible to you. We want that from you. Um, sorry to just say it again, but I just want you to feel comfortable knowing that you should get involved in everybody's stuff. And then finally, at the end, you guys will compete. The kids in front of you here will be your competition and your friends, but you will all be pitching your business ideas at the Live Entrepreneurs Expo. As they said, it'll be beginning of February. It feels like very far away, February, October to February feels far, but I get, it comes. So you'll, you'll know what you want. You'll be able to pour your heart out and compete. And the three winners will be chosen for the annuals. So um, get excited for all of this, but also just know that we take you through pretty specifically. You can kind of kick back and relax. And we'll, if you pay attention to your WhatsApp group chat, and if you do your work on the platform, you're golden. So um, great. That's about all I have to say about this, unless anybody has questions. Yes, Amelia, go ahead. I was just wondering. Do we do a module in the course where we learn how to, um, okay, I don't really know how to put this, but not get our ideas stolen because I have a few people that are entrepreneurial in my family and uh, from firsthand experience, uh, yeah. you need to kind of make sure your idea stays your own. <laughs> That's called a patent and we can walk mm, through yeah. that with an LLC. Mm -hmm. So, Amelia, if I understood the question correctly, you're asking how do you protect your idea? Is that the right way to put it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, great, great, yeah. Um, so I think like a couple of interesting points on that, right? Um, what Devonte said is obviously right, um, but it's, it's, it's a very interesting question and probably one of the most debated ones in startup, in the startup world, right? Like people always, are wondering like, do you share your idea? Do you not like blah, blah, right? Mm -hmm. um, the, the reality, at least like what I feel quite strongly about and what I have read about uh, in terms of some of the most successful startups, because that's what I'm looking at, right? Like what are the um, unicorns who have been some of the most impactful uh, people in the world and how do they operate, right? Like if you read Obama's biography, like those kind of people, like you're looking at some of the exceptional people in the world and the exceptional businesses that have been built. I think those people in those businesses did not ever fear about sharing their vision and idea. Because mostly when you do that, a lot of those people in those businesses got the reaction that this is insane. Like, do you think Airbnb sounded like normal or like doable to anyone? They must have been told that like, please go away. Like you want random strangers to say, stay in other people's homes. Are you insane? Like that is the, probably a hallmark of a billion dollar idea right now. Um, right. So that's, so I think like the, and again, there's very, like lots of debates and I think it comes down a little bit to your personality as well. So if you're someone who likes to share and likes to get feedback from other people, you should be fearless in being doing that and like uh, taking that up. Um, I was very vocal when I was building School of Future at the very beginning and like didn't have anything together. Both Kelsey and I, I would say we were very much like, I mean, this is the dream. We want to be able to teach young people. We want to be able to get young people to be together, be like, you know, talk about things that they care about, both personal, professional. And secondly, for them to be able to learn skills that genuinely matter in the real world. However, no one has built a product around this in the world. So we didn't know, like, we also didn't know what we were doing really. Um, so, and, and at that stage, when you're at that very open stage of like ideation, that's when you are very open, I would say with the world. But when you feel that your product, like now I'm a lot more hesitant about 
telling someone the exact details of like how the product actually works right um if, if especially if i'm talking to like an investor or or um or people who have this uh who who are let's say idea holders and debaters or whatever right so so i think it obviously depends on that context as well but at least and and just to put it in the context of this chart i would say the first two months um the first 60 days you should be insanely open about everything right like even your idea should be fairly fluid like you shouldn't feel like oh i'm already attached this is what it's going to be um just because because you don't know right you don't know and you don't know what can develop based on what ibukin tells you about your idea and the feedback that um you get from jaylene right so that those that's why it's great to be open in that space and then like again depending on what happens um obviously this does not apply if you are creating something that literally doesn't exist anywhere else and it's it's a, a product that you've created like a complete new innovation then that has to be patented as uh, uh king mentioned but just that there's you know uh, i i hope i was able to somewhat answer your question yeah that's perfect because that's that's more of the type of idea I was talking about ones that don't really like that aren't in the marketplace at all yet yeah yeah beautiful thanks so much for that okay what do we um yes shankar is going to tell a bit about like what do you do specifically in a week okay so there are a few things that happen each week uh so first of all everybody will be working on the mobile or online platform that we have where you some of you must have seen it already so everybody is supposed to make their sign up account they're supposed to sign up on it if you haven't already done that that's the first step but uh, you have to complete one stage each week on this application uh, so for this week everybody's assignment was to do the baseline the ea baseline quiz and also to finish the first stage in this coming week which is approaching us right now so we'd complete one stage every week then every two weeks we have a one on one mentor call so either me or kelsey will be your mentors and uh, that's just going to be your time like we will be working on you and your idea and that's your space to share anything one on one with us so that happens every two weeks then something really interesting is the community page on the app itself and also in our whatsapp group because that's a very active part of our community too where we just talk to each other a lot so we do have fun interactive ways of you know interacting with the community we try to organize stuff on the whatsapp group sometimes but there is this element of community on the app itself which is always active this is really cool thing called off my chest which i like a lot like people share so much about themselves it's anonymous and you can you know have that platform to express yourself to everybody without feeling judged etc there's other fun stuff to do on that page as well like they they ask you a question a day and it, it gets you like thinking and there's lots of games that you can look at so community is another aspect then live contests so this is something that happens each week and it happens on tuesdays at 8 pm indian time and that's i think that varies around the world I'm not sure of that what that is right now but I will make the yeah Kelsey we switched to Saturdays we switched to Saturdays for the contest Saturdays okay so uh, we we won't be having Tuesday contest no we're having live contest each Saturday at yeah. 8 p.m. and I then the last thing is um mastermind video calls so this is something that happens once a month uh and it's when everybody gets together on a video call and we do a live competition face to face or we do a live session of any kind of interaction face to face and it's really fun and it happens on some month so about the live contest though it is going to be happening on saturday but we will confirm the timings with you once we actually solidify that because we we want to make it in a way that everybody around the world can attend it at the same time so that's something we still need to <laughs> figure yeah. out much harder yeah. to do that add something here if you guys don't mind one thing about the contests um and like i said we will the steps of everything will be very very laid out for you if you pay attention but do not let your team down when we say arrive to the saturday contest with stage 2 complete like it needs to be complete you will be letting your team down in some form if you don't so just do that um pretty closely and 
oh, I had something kind of fun to say about, oh yeah, about the team contest and stuff. Like you with your team have the full reins to like, we've had teams that are just like, get on a Zoom call, screw this. Like they, you guys are allowed to do that. Like sometimes your, your, your contest might include like brainstorming on a Google document or building something, but like your free reins to get on a call whenever you guys want. Like you're totally like, we're kind of actually going to weave in a lot more like team calls and things like up to your discretion. Suggestions are always welcome to in this kind of environment. Like this is for you, this experience. So yeah we'll also need your instagrams thanks for uh esther and devante who put them into the chat <laughs> but the rest of you if you have insta we want it so some of the next steps are first of all like we already mentioned you have to do the ea baseline quiz after you register yourself on the platform uh so after you do that quiz you start stage one and that's what we want to do by the end of this week so by the end of this week everybody should be done with stage one on the app Second very important thing is, please book a time for your one-on-one -on -one mentor call with either me or Kelsey. My calendar link isn't here right now, but I will be sharing it on the WhatsApp chat with everyone. So we'll uh, actually be sending on that on the mentorship. Um, each of the so Shamshir or Kelsey will reach out to you with their specific uh, calendar link. And just on that, I would say that um, you know these treat them a little bit like you treat any commitment that you have um, because obviously all of us are really busy. We don't want you to like, and we will protect the time as well. Um, so, and if anything comes up, obviously it's free to be changed, but try and think forward for the time that you would actually be free um, every other week. Yeah. Yes. So this, um, this mentor call, like we mentioned, is going to happen once every two weeks. And we will meet at the same day, same time, once every two weeks. So just plan that out carefully. And like once we send you our links, you can book whatever time works for you. And yes. So this is the stuff. We're back on it again. OK. <laughs> What's the? We can so, stop sharing, yeah. Yeah, that's about it. I mean, these are some of the traits. We don't go over this as much anymore, but you can kind of see the traits of an entrepreneur. Cool. Um, you guys are awesome, though. I like really liked a lot of people that I hadn't met, and I was like, oh, yeah, this is going to be a solid group. Excited for you guys to do uh, everything that you want to. Awesome. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here on time, for giving us your full attention. And, um, you know, the... The one thing, like someone mentioned this earlier, I don't remember who it was, but one of our students kind of in an interview with me mentioned that I feel like I've joined a family and a community. Um, and that is what Entrepreneurs Academy is before anything else. Um, and secondly, I think the more I feel, you know, the more I consider like what we are trying to build, I would say, think of the space as the space where you both dream and do. Right? Like that's like the pinnacle of humankind. I think we are at our best when we actually put ourselves to work for the dreams that we have, that we want for the world and that we are trying to create. So think of it in that sense and uh, never feel like, I get this a lot from some of our students where you feel a little bit overwhelmed by some of the other students in the academy who might you know, be doing a lot of amazing things. Each of you has been handpicked. And when I say that, I genuinely mean it. Like this cohort, specifically this cohort's acceptance rate has literally been like, I think 1.3% or something like that. You have, you're like beyond handpicked. This is like more than even like Harvard's graduation, right? So just know that like you're here for a very specific reason and we love like everything that we know about you already. And we're excited to see how much more can we push that potential, right? The whole idea of this is, for this experience to be super exponential for you at a personal and a professional level. So just enjoy yourself, get to know each other, get to know yourself a lot more uh, through this journey and uh, all the very, very best from all of us. And uh, we'll, we'll be seeing you very soon and all the time, but <laughs> just it's not a good vibe, but just for now, uh, thank you again. And let's say bye everyone. You can unmute yourself and just say bye. 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 Would everyone put their uh, Instagrams on the group chat or not, do you think? Yes. I mean, yeah, we get everyone to do yeah, that. I actually have them all saved in a chart right now because I was just putting this. So I'll put all the ones I have. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, everyone add me at Spiritual Veteran. That's my ID. This is Brando's. Uh, maybe I don't. I don't have yours, Brando. Oh, sorry. He just, 
I'll put it in the chat. At, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, I Thanks. have a question. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm not with that. Oh, sorry. What, okay. what counts as like a, like, because you said we'll have to do it each in like, oh, what was the word? Like you had a like a set like a set amount that you needed to complete each week. What counts yeah. that set amount? Yes, great question. So this is um, like on the School of Future platform, and we'll send you photos with it so that it's not confusing. Can we just share share our screen right now and show this right and show how to like log on and like find the skills? Yeah, absolutely. I'm sure you mind. Sorry, I don't know why I don't have screen sharing powers. Oh wait, I do. Okay. I'm on it. Done. Okay. Give me one second. So as you guys know, it's schoolofuture.co.in. That is the web app. The reason it's a web app is because some of our students prefer to use it on their phone. Others prefer to use it on their laptop. So this is the beautiful off my chest that was being mentioned earlier. Probably Kelsey and my favorite thing that we have ever built. Um, there's just, I mean, I'll let you guys explore it yourself. But, you know, really like go back and even respond to people who have said things earlier because everyone checks in, right? Like even though your 100 days finish, it's not like you are done with the with School of Future. Then the second um, element that I wanna show you here is the skill space. So if you can, when um, people are talking about like finish stage one or finish like first week's content, this is what they mean. All these four little mini skills that we have under this first icon, that's what counts as, um, you know, is supposed to be done in week one. This is what's supposed to be done in week two that kind of stuff. And it fills in the moment you are done. Sometimes it does not, which causes us a lot of heartache. Please let us know when it does it. <laughs> but that's the goal. And each of these is like really simple. Um, I think some of you might have already looked at it. But you know, when we start with like entrepreneurial thinking, for all of the content on our platform, you'll see a mixture of um, what we like to call like art and science. So there's a little bit of like you writing and thinking and like um, really trying to consolidate your opinion on something. And then the science aspect is just literally like the neuroscience or the um, scientific research that we have on any topic. So we try and combine those two, two things at all times. So it's kind of very simple. You have like a quiz here. I'm just showing you one mini skill so that you guys get a sense. But I just did like one third of this little mini skill and I am reading more. Please go through it much better than I am right now. And like anybody that you you see, like oh, I really like something that Dorothy said. Like if you're fascinated with her, like I said, she's a month ahead of you. We'd love for you to like meet up and like. Um, yeah. And this is the, so. Just what Kelsey is referring to is actually this feature, which is the ability for you at any time to look at any response that any of your peers have written who have gone through the academy. The reason it becomes extremely cool is because you'll see like people that, you know, you, you don't know like who Cadence is and she thinks that Voldemort's an entrepreneur, like that's cool. <laughs> Let's me talk to her and find out who she is, right? Um, and so this is just like, it, it always happens whenever we ask you a question, we try and do this, create this space for you. And that's pretty much it. That's like a whole mini skill that you just did. So one fourth of the whole um, stage is done now. That's like, and you get your grit coins if you do a better job than me um, for just going through it, you would also get. So that's like, I just finished the entrepreneurial thinking one. So I finished this first one and then I would go to who will you become? Anything else Kelsey that you wanted to feature right now? No, I said it for last to just explore. Great. Awesome. Any, any other question? I have a question. Yes, Jaleen, please. Okay, so like if you, okay, if you find like people that you want to talk to, like that aren't here, yeah. how do you talk to them, I guess? Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, up. I would just, Jaylene, ask um, your mentors, myself or Shamshir, like the, we are your like node to find you, to, to reaching out. And then at that point, that person becomes your friend and you can like hit them up whenever. Like I will always recommend somebody where I'm like, oh, your idea is really looking like Sandan from two cohorts ago. I might do that. But if you naturally find someone on the platform that you're intrigued with, please, we would love to arrange for you to talk and they would love it too. Bye, Devante. <laughs> God bless everyone. Thank you. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, everyone. If you have any questions, please stay behind um, and chat with us. But if you're good to go, feel free to leave. Um, Amelia, can I have your number? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, well, do you know what? what? you are called on whatsapp or not what yeah, at each other in the group guys you're going to want everyone's number yeah. awesome i'm going to take everyone's leave it's it is a little bit late in india and thank you to everyone i know that you're all coming at different time zones i don't even know where everyone's at but thanks so much everyone for your full attention in this time it's much much appreciated bye thank you uh, uh, I just followed you on. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Brando, yours is the Instagram I still can't find. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bye, guys. All the best. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, mom. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Peace out. Bye. Bye. You guys had fun. Esther, excited. Yashika. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Bye bye. <laughs> Good night. Okay, so how did it go, Shamshir? Okay. okay. <laughs> <It's really fine. laughs> Not like we're talking anything bad. It went good. They're nice kids. Brando said something that was like not appropriate, but it's okay. About smoking? Yeah. I was like, I, I don't want people to think that we, that he's doing illegal shit. <laughs> how did the group react? His team was he was with his team. We were. It was actually pretty funny. So we were in the same room with the two twins, me yeah. and Brian. <laughs> and uh, so he just ran. Oh, yeah. Like, what do your parents get mad at you for? And he said, "Oh, that." And I, I was just like, "Oh, fair enough. Okay." And then then somebody else started talking, and both the kids were just like. <laughs> so it was like two Indian kids in the group. <laughs> yeah. I had a, yeah. Hey, the, I'm trying to think of who Brando's teammates are. I think he'll be fine. Yeah. No, he's a great kid, but it's just like. <laughs> and what else? Yeah. The group where I was for the culture cafe thing, they're all very, very, very shy. So like none of them are like an extroverted kind of personality with Haley and Blessed and I think there was another Karen and Aryan. So none of them are extremely like outgoing or talkative. So I kind of had to like come into the awkward silences and be like, hey, you guys still have that left to discuss. Why don't you do that? And yeah. Right. I know, I know. Part of me feels like they would be less awkward if I was not there because they like rely on me to be like, all right, who's next? So that part's always. Yeah, and this morning, I'm so sorry, I didn't tell you what it what happened, but it was like, I got prepared when I wasn't expecting it, and I had to go and buy stuff, so I had to leave the house. For what? I got my period when I wasn't really expecting oh, it. Oh, okay. It got me by complete surprise, and I had to leave the house to buy stuff, so yeah, that I didn't tell you because it was like awkward, but <laughs> that's why I had to go. I'm oh. sorry. Yeah. I, did you feel okay during the rest of everything? Oh, well, no, I was fine because I came back home. But it's just like I had to leave the house for a bit. So that was the only problem. Okay. 
Okay. All right, let's make the groups and get them into group chat. I want to send them. Do you know the opening activities that we give like for within the group chat? We kind of say like, send a pic of your family or like, wait, that's in the main group chat. I usually do like send a pic of your family. And then in the group chat, I do um, like some sort of, there's like an activity that helps them come up with a team name. So I can make the groups right now. And yeah. we don't want to like bombard, but I think it's like, it's kind of late in India. So we might as well do it now. Yeah, let's just do it right now. Do you want me to make the groups? Audible. Or? Sure. Um, all the kids are so like in September cohort, they're all flaking on mentor calls this week. Like Dorothy flaked, Alishba, I understand her reason why she flaked. Yeah, who else did? Cadence was like randomly like, oh, I have to switch the time to something like really late in the day when like I would rather be doing other things. And she was like, oh no, now I want to like talk to you four hours later than I usually would. So I was like, okay, I mean, I'm free. So let's do that. But you can't keep doing this all the time. You can't keep changing the time whenever you feel like it's not working for you. You need to clear stuff up to make time for this. So like, I didn't say that to her. I was like, okay about it, but that's what I felt. And also today, now Raja is like, okay, I can't, and he's not even giving me a reason. He's like, can we change the time for the call today? And Enola is also not really giving me a reason. She's like, can we change the time? So now I feel like, why is nobody at least explaining why they want to change the call? Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty lenient in some form, I guess. Like I, I know, but it's, it's more like, I just want to make sure that they are getting something out of every call and like feeling like, okay, I know what I'm supposed to go do next. And I'm like, I think like the biggest thing, mentor calls were like hell at first when they weren't scheduled and I would just like harass kids trying to get them on the phone. That was like really hell. So that's why we had these scheduled calls. So I like, if a kid misses one, I don't care that much, but I think like it's more, I don't know if they're like progressing and sometimes you can do like a whole like voice note and like voice note feedback. I mean, I don't know what I'm saying. Like, I think, how do you feel? Do you feel like they are, they like know what, to, are they excited to come show you what they did? That's like the biggest thing that makes a kid care about a mentor call is if they're like, I did something cool. I can't wait to show Shamshir. They are like, they always do their work. Like last time they did all their work they, and I have to push them a little bit. Obviously, like I send them reminders. Hey, do your, do your problem free before the mentor calls so that we can discuss it and do more work on it. And they do that stuff, but it's just like, they're not showing up. They do all their work, like that's fine. It's just like they, they're a bit flaky with meetings this week. All of them, like Shitage, Hiran. Yeah. That's Shitage. when you kind of that's when you kind of praise and be like the kids that came like really have such a set. Um they know what they're they know where they're going with empathy, they know where they're going with surveys, they know they they're like and you kind of just like praise like I'm telling you, I'm sure it's gonna get brutal. Like there's a fa there's faces where I'm like two kids out of the whole cohort did something. I praise the fuck out of those two kids and pretend like everyone did stuff and like people like slowly trickle up and start doing stuff and it's okay it's not great like I I, I want your like creative opinion I'm like I spend my time thinking about this a lot like I don't know how to make everything more like right now like team stuff fades and I really really bothers me like I want like more team stuff I'm gonna start doing team group calls potentially like more frequently with this cohort I kind of want to do team group calls like every couple weeks I feel like this cohort is in desperate need for team interaction because the only time they talk is at the competition competition stuff and that too like with whoever sh manages to show up right so I want to do something where we can ask them like what is a good time and everybody can decide on a time and actually show up um okay um then, oh, this is still recording. <laughs> oh.